high vol deer. Deployment going sideways. Oh no, Voldaire. Here, how about some flappy hats? Maybe that'll make it a little bit better. Monkey Bananas is my latest subscriber. <sighs> flappy hats do make everything better. Gotta run to the potty real quick. Do the thing. Good news. Scott wants to go an hour early tomorrow on the Play Retro Show Voldaire, so that means we should be able to start at our normal time for once on the Baldur's Gate 3. Finally. Oh, hi, coffee scroll.
Coffee's here, monkey's here. How is everybody? How is your Thursday night? It is a Sega Genesis Mini. Look at that. That has Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle as well, but right now we're running this on our Mr. F. PGA. What is exactly is a Mr. FPGA? Well, it's a project that incorporates a FPGA processor in it. What is an FPGA versus other types of emulation? Well, FPGA uses a special kind of chip for the processor that is programmable essentially. And you can program that chip to behave hardware-wise like any chip that you can program it for. And so it is very popular in the retro scene because you can do all kinds of stuff like emulate a Sega Genesis, which is what we're doing right now. Not great! Okay, I went and had my physical today. So, no you. I feel ya. Had blood taken. It was a lot of fun. Do not recommend. should do the whole thing this way tonight what do you think you know just me being up in your face Killer, what are you doing? If like it's been a minute since I've seen you, how are you doing? How are you? Do 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 Pick one. Let me just pick one. I can pick anyone I want. I can just pick it, whatever. Just does it only work in front of the thing? Oh, this has zero of those, so I can't pick them. They're there, but I can't pick them. All right. That's disappointing. Cold Cash is here. Oh, hi, Cold Cash. Who has the analog pocket? Anybody have the analog pocket out there? Pocket analog. Anybody got one? Let's start this game. We're playing Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. This is the second game in the series that I consider the second game in the series. There's a whole bunch in between. So in the original Sega Master System, we have Alex Kidd in Miracle World, which we played this earlier this week. And now we're going to play the only true sequel 
Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle uh, on the Sega Master System. Look at him go in his little his little bike. Oh, until he hit the red balls. Do not hit the red balls. Oh, hi, kid. Taz says, I've got a buddy who has one. They love the analog pocket. I'm getting one, but I'm going to wait until the start of the new year. I wonder if I should run like a, you know, we have a sub goal right now. We're up at 72, which is great. We beat the sub goal. It was 90, though, a couple of months ago, and I kept lowering it down until we could meet it. <laughs> But we're gonna get back there again, right? We just gotta I gotta come up with a better I gotta come up with a better system. Oh hi, Cole Cash, you bunch of weirdos. I'm doing better now, says Rena Killer. Oh good. I didn't know you weren't doing well, so that's good. I'm glad to hear that you're doing better. Alright, in the Enchanted Castle, there was Alex Kidd in Shinobi World, which came after this, and I've played it a little bit, but it's really just Shinobi with Alex Kidd in it. Oh my gosh, you can do that. You can balance that thing on the... Th oh my god, this game is freaking insane. And then if you hit the thing, you go into the water. Then you gotta kick and punch your ways. Oh my gosh, alright. This gets so high. Anyway, yeah, I am planning on getting a... I am planning on getting a analog pocket this in a couple of, in a couple of months, probably. I'm gonna order it first thing I never noticed that. Watch his little eyes, how he kind of, they when he kicks, they kind of, oh, whenever he punches, they also do this little eye darty thing. That's interesting. All right, so, all right, so I've got a three button, I've got a three button controller here. Whoop. Um, this is the USB controller that goes to the Sega Genesis Mini, which is right over here, but we're not playing on the Mini, we're playing this on the Mr. FPGA. And we're going to be, we're looking at the analog pocket, which is kind of like the a portable version of the same idea of using FPGA uh, hardware emulation. So, er, er, okay, car's on as well. Oh, no. Now I can punch the car. Oh, no, but I hit it. And now I'm a ghost. You know, I don't, I don't like, this kind of makes me feel like this is a kid's game, but it's brutal. It's a brutal game. All right, so this is this is the gimmick. Here's the gimmick. If you've never played an Alex Kidd game, just like in Miracle World, one of the primary things that you do that makes this stand out is the rock, paper, scissors. Or as I believe they call it, what do they call it, Jenkin or something? Which means basically rock, paper, scissors in Japanese. Um, but... They call it, is it Paper, Scissors, Stone, I believe? Jankin Pond. There you go. Tanda. Tanda knows. So Jankin is kind of a shortened term of that. Oh, Arcade Ages. I have a white picket from the first shipment. I don't know what you meant. A white pocket. So I was looking at that. Everybody seems to go with the white analog pocket. And I'm a little bit nervous about that. I... I think I'm going to go with the black. I think we'll go with the black. Beat me at the game and I'll give you a gift. A gift. Bet 50. So if I had no money, this turd would ask for a life. So we're going to rock, paper, scissors here. Let's see. Will you bet your life? Oh, wait. You said... Fi oh, oh, I guess it is a life then. Pick paper, rock, or scissors. Before the music stops, ready? I'm going to go rock my first time, as I typically do. He is a weirdo. What is he doing? Oh, oh, he got he got scissors. I want it here. Take it, you thief. You bully, cat, and thief. Uh, arcade confirms black is cool, too. I had to toss a coin. Yeah, that was kind of the, the only reason why I'm thinking black is because every time I get a tech piece of technology that's white, because obviously, look at me, I like white technology. Look at my headset. Look at my big star that takes away from the from the blackness of this hat. Look at my Ember mug. My Ember mug is white. I love white tech. But if you look at this white coffee mug, 
And if you look closely enough at these headsets, they've got a little bit of yellowing on them in different places because of whatever reason, maybe it has something on my hands, I don't know. This never shows up. Tonda, resubscribing with that Prime. Thank you so much at 23 months. Monkey, are you in the chat room or are you still hanging out? I saw Monkey earlier. Can you give a shout out to Tonda if you haven't already? If you're not following Tonda, what are you doing with your life? Excellent. A most excellent retro streamer as well. And the person who I think probably more than anybody pressured, pressured me to get the Mr. FPGA. Pressured me, made me do it. Made me do it and I thank him kindly because I had no idea about hardware emulation and emulating processors, which is totally sexy. I love that idea. The timing on 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 the emulation is pristine, and that's because this uh, this was it uh, the what is it the uh, D10 Nano I believe it is the CPU that's in this Mister FPJ, and then the, of course the uh, Pocket has its own. FPGA processor. They're capable of multiple processing at one time. They can run multiple processors at one time, so they can emulate multiple processors on one chip. It's a way cool technology. Whites have the chance of turning a bit yellow over time. Black shows fingerprints wider. That's a good question, too. That's a good point, Arcade Ages. That's a good point. Why is this one blue? Does that mean I can jump up? There was something last night. I was reading I was reading the manual for Alex Kidd in Miracle World last night. And the manual implies that some blocks overhead you can uh, press the A and B button at the same time and it will break the box. You know, a la kind of like Mario. I gotta go back and test it. Because I never, I don't think I ever tried that. Okay, so the kicking will not hit the box. All right, well, how do I? Okay, let's see. Oh, and then that only does the kicking. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, so he only can punch, so he can't jump and punch. That was that was his thing in the first one. Hmm. Yeah, Valdir Monkey is on. Yeah, held a gunpoint, basically, Tonda. You really did. I mean, as I was like. What choice do I have? Oh man, I guess I... Can I not get up there? Alright, so you can go into each one of these little rooms. So, okay, so one's a monkey and one is a dog with an eye patch and they're both holding pom-poms, I'm assuming, and there is some kind of stick in the middle which looks like the cane that I can actually choose. Uh, we'll give you, I'll uh, say, uh, will you bet your life? Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's not ready today to find us right. I'm going to go outside here. He kind of reminds me of, uh, is it Puma? Is it, Puma? which, which one is the Thundercat that is, that is all blue? So here we go. So here we see this, this says this, when did I pick up the ring? Or the, it's actually the, I think it's the wristband. Look how dumpy he looks in this one. <laughs> Look how dumpy he looks. Okay, I equipped that one. Okay, so. Oh, then I can unequip it. Interesting. Well, how do I get out? I hit the start button? Okay. All right, there we go. Now we're talking. Panthro, that's it, Skits. Thank you, Skits. I knew I could depend on you. Okay, weird. All right. Oh, so if you jump long enough, it does that. Okay, so you can you can blast the blue balls, but you cannot blast the red balls. All right. There goes the money. Oh no, and I fell. Oh, okay, there it go. Oh, and then it disappeared. Are you going to? Are y'all going to touch on the arcade version as well? It's so weird. Yeah, we're going to mention it, but it's really what was that one called? Um, that one's like a bunch of little weird mini games and stuff, right? If I remember correctly, 
We're mostly going to focus on the main line, Alex Kidd, which are there really there's only two. There's Alex Kidd uh, in Miracle World and then Alex Kidd uh, in the Enchanted Castle. And the other Alex Kidd in is Shinobi World, which is really just them making a Shinobi game for a kid. And then they crammed Alex in it. Oh, man, when you do that, you lose your weapon. I hate that one touch, one kill thing. And I'm down to zero. Look at that. Right. Um, it was a platformer, too, but it was just to get to the mini game parts, right? Coin. It's definitely going to get mentioned. But it doesn't have any backstory or anything. Oh, 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 there was something else that was going on with it, too. There was a reason why I got excluded. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I think it's pretty basic if I remember correctly. Oh, there's the there's the plane. Uh oh, here goes oh car can't go down here. Okay. Oh, it's it's just hovering over those places there. I kind of like that. There we go. Oh, give me that. Now, can I kick this thing? I cannot kick the blue. So where did I win? Um, where did I get the thing from then? Where did I get the band from? Okay, so here is... So, what exactly is this? I know it's the exit. Is it? Is it a taco? Is it a... What is that? <laughs> what, what exactly is that supposed to be? Monkey says, last immaturely to himself. <laughs> yeah, we're going to touch the arcade version. Tonda, do you have... Oh, that was cool. So, I guess you can kick certain balls... Better get to this. It's like the rice ball with some seaweed on it. Okay. Well, that's what I thought it was supposed to be. And then the instruction manual acts like that's optional or something. It's like, don't forget to get the rice ball. And I'm like, but you can't leave the area, can you? Or maybe you can. Oh, what is this? Is this a dung beetle? Is that a dung beetle? Oh, my gosh. All right, is this game trying to charm me? This gets confirmed. This is an onigiri. onigiri? Is that how you say it? Oni. I know Oni, right? O N I is Oni. I'm not sure I say Giri. Onigiri? Let me if I say it quickly. Um, the Japanese spoken language is very difficult for us English speakers. Do they pronounce the R at all? Onigiri? Is it Onigiri? Yeah, the localization probably. Glosses over that, right? Hi, I'm Alex Kidd. I live on the planet Ares. My brother, Igul, is king. Frankly, my life was uneventful, but then I heard a rumor. My lost father, King Thor, was alive on the planet Paper Rock. Paper Rock. Third Paper Rock from the sun. Why is it named Paper Rock? Because everyone there, what about scissors? Is an expert at the game called Paper Rock Scissors. But they left the scissors part out. So it's not Paper, Rock, Scissors, Planet. If a visitor is no good at that game, he won't last long. My family didn't want me to go. But I have to find out. Is my father still alive? Need you. <laughs> I don't know why that's trying to bullying. I don't know what Oniji, Onijiri, Oni, Oni, Onijiri. Onijiri. Is that, is that how you say it? Am I getting close? Onijiri. How is that a... Is that an insult somewhere? <laughs> the hard G, maybe. <laughs> Weird. Jiri. Okay, Jiri. Hard G. Oh, okay. Onijiri. Onijiri. Jiri. G. Oh, give me that money. Punch. Oh, no. I kicked it. Whew, that was close. The kicking is kind of confusing me because I think... All right, we're going to get that too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why, if I didn't know any better, I would say they based this character off the Dragon Ball series. Oh, wait. According to unknown or untold stories of Japanese game developers... 
One of the developers who worked on this game, the designer, I believe, said that at the time, because he said, I think enough time has gone by. I could be able to talk about this. Originally, Sega with Alex Kidd, they were actually developing a Dragon Ball Z game, a Dragon Ball game. They were developing a Dragon Ball game, um, and they already had the characters and everything, and it was about you know, 60 70% done. And then they lost the rights. And so they come up with a nice little character here. Kind of looks like somebody else we may know from the Dragon Ball series, based on a certain monkey story. You just been educated. Education dance. <laughs> just learned that today. <laughs> Had to make fast use of it. Why? Because if I say it, I'll remember it. Less about me showing you that I know things and more about me. Reinforcing the idea in my head. So thank you for listening. I appreciate you. So we got some gophers here. Oh, you can go in here. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. And we decided he looked like uh, Panthro. So we got Panthro in shorts. We've got little uh, some kind of dog like he would have been around during Little Rascals. With a, with a monkey with a red face. He's got a bike. Oh, is that the grand prize? Okay. I understand now. I thought that staff rod was there for some... I just realized... Look at that peanut gallery down there. Monkey Bananas, you go lurk, my friend. Look at that, look at that gallery down there. We've got a rabbit. I assume it's a pig. Some kind of cat. Another dog. A couple of, uh, couple of bulls. A couple of bulls. Rent a killer gave out one community sub this minute. Thank you so much. Rent a killer. The man. Thank you very much. It is the hang on bike. It does look like the hang on bike. Interesting. Arcade ages, if you're still around, tell me what's your favorite game to play on the analog? Now, I have a Game Boy Color and I have all like a whole ton of Pokemon games. Thank you, Voldare. And uh, Robin from Texas. Um, and I also have a Game Boy player for the GameCube. Thank you, Voldemort. Um, And I'm looking to get the analog pocket because I would like to have that physical, you know, that FPGA kind of experience out and about with a really well back backlit screen. Because I could get the kit. I could get the kit and upgrade my Game Boy Color shirt. But by the time I do that, break it open, do all the things, I'm in at least a hundred bucks. I could probably get it cheaper, but I want to get a good screen. But even that screen is not going to be as good as what I've heard the analog pocket screen is like. And it won't be rechargeable unless it gets some kind of rechargeable batteries. So it seems like a steal to me. Plus, I heard you can mod it and put your own ROMs on there. I'm going to build a ROM reader, I believe. I believe I'm going to build a ROM reader. Let's go. Let's get this. Doggy is going up and down, up and down, up and down. This audience is not... Ooh, got it. Oh, look at that. I got it. Here, take it. You see, I've pretty good odds so far. i pretty good odds so far. Favorite game to play? Tough one. I use it as an accessible a library. Good job. Packed it with system full sets. Oh, nice. But if I had to choose, I would say the Game Gear Shinobi series. Yeah. I'm hoping before I... I hope to get to a revisit on the um, Alice Kid in Shinobi world before I go. Um, now, Arcade, just as, a, just as a side note, if you've never seen me stream before, um, this was my first console, Sega Master System. And Shinobi was my first game. And I have a special love for the Shinobi series. Love it. 
one of the it was the first game I picked back up whenever I went over, started getting all the stuff wired up again. What's up, Azixa? What's going on? How was your day? Yes, do I, brother? Yo, yo. Oh, shoot. I hit it too soon. Oh, there's that dung beetle again. That just cracks me up. What are the games? That was an indie game not too long ago that had a... The whole thing was about around a, a dung beetle. I can't remember which one it was, though. What was it? Okay, so you can punch these. You can't... So if there's anything on the other side, they won't project through. Oh, okay. They'll hit... If they hit another blue ball, they stop. I gotcha. But you can tell this is very similar, except for, you know, for the first level, this is very similar to the Alex Kid in Wonderland, which I'm glad to see. Also, by the way, I don't know if it's still on sale or not, but the Alex Kid in Wonderland DX version on Steam, I don't know where else is it. It might be elsewhere, too. It's probably on the Switch. But anyway, it is amazing. I love how good it looks. It looks so good. All games all the time. Gotcha, buddy. You're out of here. Give me that. Woo! Got another one, though. Is he a hedgehog? He wasn't before Sonic. He's just a random hedgehog, right? Interesting. Being a Sega, you think they would have a little joke there. Coins! Coins! Coins for all. Oh, won't be good over there, will I? Hmm. I wonder what the speed running is like this one. This looks like a game that would be pretty, pretty fun to do a speed run on. I'm assuming that since it's all pattern based. Oh, I missed it. I swear I should be able to hit that when I'm coming down. Hmm, guess can't do it. The Shinobi Joe. Musashi is one of the top all-time ninjas in my book. Yes, in the Shinobi games are some of the best ninja games of all time. Clap, 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 what I say? Of all time. Now, one of my first experiences with a karate game, though, was Karateka. On a friend's... Oh, I can do this little thing, though. You couldn't squat and punch in the first one, so that's interesting. Hello, <laughs> crawls. That's super cute. Oh, well, look, you could crawl backwards, and well, that's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, yeah, I love Shinobi. It's, it's the best. I just love how he walks, and he's whoosh, 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 whoosh. so much fun. Whoosh, whoosh. Zixa says, "My analog duos, oh, have arrived today. What?" Won't have time to mess with them until next week, though. They're they're shipping out stuff a little faster right now. I wasn't quite ready to order it today, but I am going to get the pocket ordered in January. So, if you if you ever followed me before on here, I take one hundred percent of uh, everything that I get, it, it closest one hundred percent as I can get, and uh, anything I get from Patron or from subscribes or anything like that. Uh, I turn around and buy retro crap with it. <laughs> and, oh, man. And uh, so you guys keep me uh, in, in retro crap. I appreciate that. And as a result, I try to share that back with you guys. Matter of fact, um, that's how I bought this Sega Genesis Mini, which comes with this particular game. We're not playing on there. We're playing on the Mystery of PGA. It's so how I have two of the Mega Drive 2s down there. It does not have Alex Kidd on it. It's got CD, dry, uh, CD, the 32X games, and a few other games on it. I've got a Japanese version and an American version. Oh, they got caught in there. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I did. Oh, oh, I can. Oh, what is this? Oh, how far can I go down? Oh, look at me discovering things. Yes. I thought this had more dis hidden things in it. Rent a killer, so uh, you're an, you're our, my enablers. Yes, yes, you are. But it's a good thing. It's a good thing, right? Okay, I can kick this, right? Oh, how do I? How do I just? Can I just? Maybe I just? 
Can I... Mm, how do I... Mm, there it goes. Getting confused. Thanks for the 100 bits. A little bit enabled. That 100 bits will buy me. Hold on a second. I'll show you what it'll buy you. That will buy one-fifth of this Genesis Risk game. Complete in box that I picked up at the thrift store just a couple of days ago. Complete in box. First time I've seen one in the wild in forever. I was super excited. Or if you wanted to really get crazy. Um, I bought this today because of Claire. Because we watched, uh, we had a watch party on Discord server. And we watched a DVD version of Star Trek The Next Generation because she had never seen it before. And she said she always watched the original series. And I said, oh, I don't think I have any videotapes or DVDs of the original series. I went to the thrift store today and they had this CBS video library thing. Um, and it was marked at $2. It was uh, actually 50 cents. So you could you could bought two of these. I only ended up buying one. I bought the Menagerie Parts 1 and 2, which is the one with Commander Pike because I've been really enjoying the strange new worlds um and i didn't pick up any of the rest of them because i just i just could not justify eight of these th different ones on my freaking shelf i was just like can i, I don't, how much room do i have and thank you for that sub arcade ages thank you uh you've never played this game actually yeah i haven't either um well, I say I haven't ever played it. I played it. The only time I played it was when I got um, the mini. And I played it for just a little bit. And I wasn't sure about it. I was like, I don't know. Right? Good for you, Brian. Keep it real. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? The dung beetle came out of nowhere. Got to watch. We're in the prairie. I like that eagle design, though. That eagle design is pretty, pretty hot. Um, or it could buy, uh, buy you a sports game for the most retro consoles. Yes, sports games are typically... Um, can actually usually pick a sports game. It's pretty cheap. As a matter of fact, I have tons of NHL uh, and, and sport different sports games on my Sega Genesis. Which is sad. It's, it's sad that sports games a lot of times don't hold up their value. There you go. You're out of here, Dung Beetle. So I'm a little concerned. I don't know what these bones are. Oh, no. <laughs> but I did notice this. Not until it was too late, though. Um, when I was jumping. Um... I do like the music. Whenever I was jumping, I didn't realize the top, the bones were, I was hitting my head on the bones. Alex, kid, in Miracle World. By the way, I don't know if you can see this in the background. Speaking of stuff that I picked up, <laughs> and if you follow me on the Discord server, you probably heard this story, but got my Final Fantasy uh, 12 in. It's a still book series. It's a still book version of it. Um, I've heard people are very torn about this and I've only ever played Final Fantasy 7 and so I never played any of the later stuff um, and I know people have this kind of controversial because of the real time the real time strategy part right so what got me started in that once again I was at the thrift store and uh, found this guy here this is a this is a strategy guy stretch guide um, for for this game. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And so, anyway, come to find out, I had forgotten I'd ordered the Steelbook book version for the PlayStation 2. So I had, I had another one that was on order. So I've got a standard version coming in. And then when I was looking for a, this game earlier, I noticed that I had a, a, already had a standard edition of the Final Fantasy XII for PlayStation 2. So now I have three copies. So guess what we're going to do in January when we're doing uh, we're doing a little Final Fantasy 12. I'm going to be giving away two standard edition PlayStation 2 Final Fantasy games. Maybe with some artwork for me. What do you think? 
What do you think? We've got to get that Pokemon done, too. That's what I'm hoping to do probably in February after I get that analog pocket. Oh, here, for those who are who are out there with the analog pocket, I meant to look it up. I meant to look it up. Um, does it have HDMI output on the analog pocket? Because that was a question I, I asked myself for justification to be able to go, okay, so whenever I'm playing this, will I be able to play it and stream it? I'm assuming it does. I mean, my Ambernick does. And if it does, and I saw... Wow, I didn't punch fast enough? I saw there's tons of places to... Uh, I saw there's tons of places to get... Uh, oh, little accessories and stuff. Oh, there's two planes now. Interesting. USB-C on the bottom. for That's the charging port, right? If you use the dock, yes. Okay, so I, I, I added the dock to my cart when I was doing all that. Okay. So I can... I can output to a, uh, a capture card then. That's what I, it's a cloud up there. Did I notice that cloud up there last time? Wait a minute. Was there a cloud up there last time? And why is that so much higher? Is that higher than it was last time? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. And now I hit this too. Oh, this game is starting to make me think it has hidden stuff everywhere. Much more so than the first one. Okay, so now I'm seeing a little bit more charm in this game. When I was just seeing the straightforward... Okay, so I guess that's to help me get out of here then, I guess, maybe? Okay, I'm starting to see more variety now here. Okay. Alright, I'm starting to see the I'm starting to see the charm of the game now. Okay. I I would I I was I think I was incorrectly looking at this game as being too childish. Too immature, maybe? Okay, interesting. Oh, interesting. So now I could Okay. How come I can't remember the punch button is B? Why, why can't I remember that? Bump, 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 bump. Are these rainbow zombie brains? What are those guys? V uh, visually, they look some, like some kind of rainbow uh, zombie, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. He looks like some kind of scholarly pogo man. The sprite work is not clear. All right, so I see there is a red. I think it's my first blue chest I've come across. Oh, look at that an extra man. Look, look at this standing there. He just standing there. Why is he smaller than me, though? Oh, <laughs> I was so busy staring. <gasps> is something. It's me. Oh my god! And then I stood around and waited too long and it disappeared. What kind of penalty is that anyway? What a bunch of BS penalty they put in games like that. What, what? You can't look at the thing you just unlocked. You have to grab it quickly. What's the idea behind that? Ugh. I'm using it right now to run a digital fireplace on the monitor at my retro station. So, come on, man. I'm, I'm supposed to be waiting until January to order that thing. I'm supposed to wait until my next patron uh, Twitch payout. Because the only other thing is I tried to see if they took, like, PayPal. Like, like I'll do a PayPal credit a lots of times. Where it's just like, uh, I have a separate account for my business expenses. That way I can pay my taxes. You do know that I, when I buy all the retro stuff, it's partly selfish. Because uh, because if if I don't buy stuff with it, I have to pay 44% taxes on that thing. So any donation you guys give me, if I don't buy something with it, I have to pay 44% pay of that to taxes. That's insane. So you dang skippy, I am picking up hardware and software anywhere I can. Yeah, that is some bullshit, right? Yeah, it is. Let's see if it's always going to be the same. Oh, he got me. It is not. So this is more randomized. The first one, it was always the same order. So you could memorize it. But anyway, I don't keep a lot of cash on hand because I don't want to have to pay the taxes. So uh, in order to, you know, get the get the break that it is. I need to you know, earn the money and then buy it immediately. So that's what I got to do. 
And I've already spent my money for December. So, I'm going to wait till January. PayPal, I, sometimes I'll shift it because I can use PayPal. Uh, you know, if it's over a certain amount, you get like six months, same as cash. There's no interest on it. So, I don't mind doing that. I don't I don't pay any interest. <laughs> Bump that. And uh, so, but they don't accept PayPal. Wink. So, I don't have any other credit cards. I try to avoid credit cards the best I can. Bada bop bop bop. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, additional income does suck, right? It's awesome and it does suck. I have a day job. If I didn't have a day job, it wouldn't be a problem because I wouldn't make nearly enough money to even worry about it. Oh, I got to push down, right? Is that... No, I got to push up. Why is it not breaking this time? Is this not the right place? Hmm. Wait a minute. Where's, where's the ground at here this time? Hmm. Interesting. Is it the next one? That is tricky to get that just right. To get that yellow boot in just the right place. Coffee, though, you know how it is. Additional income sucks, yeah. Having the business means you can claim any game, PC, internet, uh, furnishings, and expenses. That's right. So, yeah, anything that, you know, the way I make the money. Now, I like, actually, is it Twitch? I believe it is Twitch that sets it up as royalties. So, it's in that category. Which seemed weird at first, but then it started. It made sense once I really dug into it. I won't have time to get back to that coin, will I? Let's find out. Yeah, we did. Good job. But yeah. So I guess what I need to do. I need to figure that analog pocket out. I love this bird. This is one of the things I have not cared for in Alex Kid. Are these... Um, how hard it is to access certain areas sometimes. Like, this bird is a pain in the... B oh, see? All it takes is this little touch. And these hitboxes are... Alice Kidd hits hitbox. His character hitbox is huge. It's huge. Like, I just barely even come near that guy. But, my fist hitbox, the collision is only as big as my fist. So, you know, there, imagine a rectangle on the outside of Alex Kidd's entire body. That's your impact, the thing that hits you, that kills you. And sometimes that's even a little floatier because you see that character there? It's, the hitbox is probably all the way on the outside. They probably not, even where his wings are at, it's probably on the outside if I had to guess. And then the hit, the hit is everywhere else. Oh, look at that. Tonda is coming online. About to do some streaming, so we're going to stream for another 15 minutes or so, and we're going to raid in on Tonda, because Tonda's great. I just want to thank everybody for hanging out with me tonight. I know it's kind of a little short stream tonight. Uh, back tomorrow, we're going to be streaming a lot more. We're going to be playing some Baldur's Gate 3 tomorrow night with Valder and Kit London, a.k.a. Ryder and Valdera, and I will be there as well with my character, Stardust. It's going to be a lot of fun. BG3! We do a lot of community things, Taz. Yes, we do a lot of community things here, if you're not... We didn't know that. The Discord server, we do a lot of stuff there. We do watch parties. Ah, Dad, coming out. I thought he wasn't jumping any higher. If I hit the if I hit the balls just right. But I guess that's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. All right. And, I don't know if you guys heard or not. I don't know if you guys heard or not. My friend brought me a Laserdisc player, so guess what? Demon Knight is ready for maybe a Laserdisc watch party. And I forget who asked me the other day, but they asked me, do you have any of the Star Wars and Laserdiscs? And I said, mm, I don't think so. 
And I got to digging. And I do have the Return of the Jedi. You know, the puppet one. If you've never seen a laser disc, looks like a big CD. It's like a CD about the size of uh, of my head, about the size of a record. And I have a player that flips sides, so that is good because some of these are four disc. Zixa says, always thought about getting a laser disc player, but I think <laughs> Alicia will may kill me given all the wretched stuff. Yeah, this and it's a big one. So a laser disc player is is huge, as you can imagine. And then the discs are huge as well. But it's about the size. If you if you have like a record player and, and vinyl albums, it's pretty much the same size, same format. Yeah. Shiny indeed. Love the Frog Pants community. Yeah, you do. Such a good community. We have so much fun. But I think... I think... Uh, between Azixa and... Yeah, I think between that and Arcade Ages... Uh, it just about convinced me. So, I want a Jamma board too. For my mister. So, I gotta look at a different case. Because I don't think... I, the mister I have... Will not fit... Okay, so I, I can't punch him when he's doing... Okay, so is he going to always... He's always going to hedgehog up. Okay, so if I try to jump over him, I'm going to hit the thing and do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Tricky. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. It's tricky to rock a rhyme. Coffee says, does it have the auto flip? This one does have the auto flip, which isn't... is It doesn't really flip. What it really has, it has, you know, two heads, essentially. One on top, one on the bottom. Um, and so, you know, there's nothing like, nothing comes out and goes, Wah! yeah, the, where the laser is a horseshoe carrier carriage that goes from top to bottom. Yeah, I think it's wild, right? Does it do that? Does that, is how it does it? It does it instantaneously. That's all I know. It's like, Vroom. I got to hop and grab some dinner, says Voldir. Yes, yes, yes. And hopefully this, uh, deployment finishes up soon. Oh, we'll see you all tomorrow. You better believe it. Thanks for hanging tonight. True story. Thank you so much. The fact that you're going to install dozens of cores on the pocket makes it insane. See, I've got to, I've got to pick your head about that too because I know you've got to do a little bit of work. It doesn't come out of the box where you can uh, install the cores, right? Also, has the physical cartridge adapters, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I, I love my carts um, coming out early next year. I saw those. Most excited for the T, yeah, yeah, the TurboGrafx 16 adapter. I saw that. Um, and that's another thing I was planning on getting this next year was a TurboGrafx 16. Um, and so I'm going to be getting some games and I would love to be able to do that. It's dirt simple. Okay, good. Stardust sounds like an exotic dancer, Brian. <laughs> it's kind of a, yeah, Renekal, you're not wrong. Stardust is kind of a, an exotic dancer. He, he, he's modeled after David Bowie. He's very tall. He's a, um, um, oh, geez. Why am I forgetting the name of the, the giant green creatures in the Baldur's Gate? Why am I forgetting my own, uh, and forgetting my own race? Oh my gosh, Gith, Gith Yankee. It's the Gith Yankee. But he looks very much like a, a David Bowie. Very skin, skinny skins. Some of developers of Analog actually make the cores and host them on their GitHub. I did not know that. See, I've I've been tempted by Analog before and I never have ordered anything because it's always like, oh, it's going to be six months. It's going to be nine months. I don't have that kind of attention span. <laughs> But if I order now, I should be able to get it by February, they say. I don't necessarily trust that though. They're not they're not their company is not known for being fast. They're known for good quality stuff. But you know. I can wait. I just gotta get the I just gotta have the cash in hand. Or they gotta let me take use PayPal. That way I can have six months. But yeah, I would love to uh, get the JAMA uh, board for the Mister. 
would love to get into kind of like, I'd like to get my first arcade machine, something that I can switch back and forth between, like I can just basically replace a JAMA board with, uh, you know, put my uh, mister in there. Love some, uh, some Capscom boards. Love to have a Capcom board. Ooh, yeah, right to the face. All right, this time I'm not going to stand around and just look at the s terrifying, scary character that is my body. All right, there we go. Got it that time. There we go. I keep forgetting I, get, I could use the sling bracelet. Okay, so we'll pull the newest versions from GitHub. Okay, once you get one, let me know and I'll send you all the resources. There are some really nice organizing apps that will add all the cores. Very good BIOS and images to the micro SD card and keeps everything optimized for you. That's great. That's kind of what Mr. does with the scripts and things. Uh, you just select which cores you want. It will pull the newest, newest. Excellent. So it sounds very similar. Midwest Mint! I've never heard someone describe David Bowie is Gith Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of get Yankee. Now, he's not all green and, you know, he's not that part, but he is very tall and lanky. Get Yankee or lanky and tall? Wait a minute. Well, at least you are in the Baldur's Gate world, right? He isn't evil. Um, are you sure about that? Have you seen Labyrinth? Have you seen Labyrinth? <laughs> that you're aware of, right? <laughs> he tried to steal a baby man. Then he tried to have the he had the he tried to have the sex with the girl that was too young for him, man. And he tried to steal the baby for Pete's sakes. He is the Goblin King. I have. Oh come on, man. Has anybody read the um? Americanized version of the Labyrinth manga. Oh, what? What? How did I miss that? Definitely me. Definitely me. What I need, though, to confirm, I'm running this through the USB. So my input is coming through the USB on this controller here that was you know, made for the uh, Sega Mini. Um, I'm running this on the Mr. FPJ, and I'm curious. I probably should get... I've got plenty of real Sega controllers over there for uh, my both my Model 1 and Model 2 Sega Genesis. And I probably need to get the um, the Snacks adapter for the Mr. To see if... But I've also heard that this game is kind of janky anyway with uh, controls. Mm-hmm. Right, Skits? He I, he did he he died, then things in the world went crazy. Man, what a what an amazing story. How he how he got to control his uh public persona. Like he knew he was dying and he released that last album, and that was just man, just every stage of his life you can it's so clear what he was experiencing in his life he was it, it felt very honest in all of his artwork with david bowie it felt it didn't feel like he was playing a character it felt like he may be only showing us you know the the parts he wanted to show us but it felt like it was very honest and sincere and i love that all the way to his last album which i occasionally will listen to even though it's depressing <laughs> Even though it's depressed as crap. Black Star was emote. Was an emotional roller coaster for me. Yeah, yeah, Black Star was this. It was it was totally emotional roller coaster. Same for me too. Same. Oh, he's, he can have a. Uh, I'm seeing all the cool stuff by just watching the demo parts. How am I supposed to start this level? with a pogo stick why you lying to me game why you lying to me game how do i acquire a pogo stick immediately yeah 90s bowie is my favorite earthlings is my favorite album Taz. that's awesome i don't have 
I don't have the vinyl that I want of David Bowie. I feel like some of the older things I would love to hear on vinyl. I mean, I listen to all the time on like, you know, YouTube music or premium, whatever it is. And then, you know, the Spotify and stuff. Where does this turtle come from? Um, but yeah, I need more. I can't say that I was a big fan of David Bowie in the 90s, but my taste has also changed a good bit. And going back and listening to them now may be different. I'll have to go back and look or listen. Hey, listen. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. We had fun, I think. I had fun. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Uh, Arcade Aegis, thank you for the follow. It was good talking to you. Zixa, 100 bits, thank you so much. Like I said, you just paid for that Star Trek video cassette tape for uh, Claire. Thank you for that. Thank you both of you for giving me some information, more information into the analog pocket. It's going to be really hard. I'm going to sleep on it, but it's going to be really hard for me not to order one over the weekend so I can get it as soon as possible. I just don't want to pay any interest. I've got to figure out a way to get one. I mean, usually the Patreon cash comes in the first of the month. So I could wait to the beginning of January, which probably means I won't be able to get it until the beginning of, you know, February. But then if I if I did charge it somewhere, if I paid it before the 30 days, hmm, I could avoid interest charges, possibly. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> but with all the accessories and things I was looking at uh, for the analog pocket, because I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it right. Uh, was it two something for the base unit? And then I was going to order a screen protector, the clear case uh, protector, uh, the docking station. Uh, there was one other thing too. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, it ended up being like closer to like four or something. Like 425 or something, so. All right. Uh, Taz, see you tomorrow for Play Retro. We'll be going an hour early on Play Retro tomorrow. Usually we go at 4.30 Eastern, 2.30 Mountain Time tomorrow. We'll be going at... We'll be going at an hour before that. <laughs> Quick, somebody do the math. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Huge thank you to our subscribers. In no particular order. Here they come. They're rolling up now. They're rolling up in no particular order. There's a little snowman. Oh, hi, snowman. But do tune in tomorrow as we talk about Alex Kidd, both in Miracle World and uh, in this one, in the Enca Enchanted Castle, and a little bit about the in Shinobi World, which I'll play a little bit tonight on my Amber Nick, most likely. Uh, as it's confirmed, the screen protector is key. I figured, like, I, I felt like it would be. I felt like it would be. Um, let's see if Tonda is in my raids of raids. Uh, pick a live channel to raid. Is it T-Gosa or is it Tonda Gosa? I think it's T-Gosa. On the thing. And I would be wrong. Tonda is streaming right now, right? He did... He announced he was going on. Okay, there he is. It is Tondagosa. All right, let's raid in on Tondagosa, who is doing some retro gaming himself tonight. So hold on to your butts. We're about to raid in on our good friend Tondagosa. Give a follow uh, to Tonda. He's a great streamer, like I said. Uh, and he knows lots of stuff. He's going to give you the warmest welcome on Twitch. And I'm going to give you the warmest uh, goodbye Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Let's do some flappy hats. Let's get some flappies in here. Let's flappy the hats. Where's it? It's not. Do I have the alerts on this one? All right. Well, trust me. There's a dance going on and a flappy hat. All right. We'll see you then. Raid.